Word Collector by Peter H. Reynolds. Collectors collect things. Some people collect stamps. Some people collect coins. Others collect rocks. Some collect art. Some collect bugs. Others collect baseball cards. Some people collect comic books. And Jerome, what did he collect? Jerome collected words. He collected words he heard. Certain words caught his attention. He collected words he saw. Certain words jumped out at him. He collected words he read. Certain words popped off the page. Short and sweet words, two syllable treats, and multi syllable words that sounded like little songs. There were words he did not know the meaning of at first, but they were marvelous to say. There were words whose sounds were perfectly suited to their meaning. Jerome filled his scrapbooks with more and more of his favorite words. Jerome's collection grew. He began organizing them. Dreamy, science, sad, action, poetic. One day while transporting them, Jerome slipped and his words went flying. As he began to pick them up, he noticed his collections had become jumbled. Big words next to little words. Sad words next to dreamy words. Jerome began stringing words together. Words he had not imagined being side by side. He used his words to write poems. He used his poems to make songs. They moved. They delighted. Some of his simplest words were his most powerful. I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. You matter. Jerome eagerly collected more and more of his favorite words. The more words he knew, the more clearly he could share with the world what he was thinking, feeling, and dreaming. One breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill, pulling a wagon packed with his word collection. He smiled as he emptied his collection of words into the wind. He saw children in the valley below scurrying about collecting words from the breeze. Jerome had no words to describe how happy that made him. A Fire Truck Named Red by Randall DeSeve This is the shiny new fire truck Rowan wanted for his birthday. It has a ladder that reaches all the way up and a hose that sprays real water. It has lights that flash, and a siren that wails, and wheels that spin silent and smooth. This is the fire truck Rowan got for his birthday. It was mine when I was a boy, his grandfather said. No blaze was too big, no rescue too small, for Red and me. But Rowan barely heard his papa. He was busy trying not to cry. Trust me, Ro, said papa with a wink. We'll fix up Red better than new. That afternoon, papa and Rowan got to work. Red and I were a great team. Our very first day we got called to rescue a cat from the top of a tall oak tree. Rowan looked over at Papa's cat, Fritz. Cats are boring, he thought. Still, he knew how to be polite. So what did you do? Red and I rushed to the scene. 
Red's ladder reached all the way up, and we got that scared cat down. Poor thing kicked and clawed the whole way. That cat was nearly as strong as the elephants. Elephants? Rowan loved elephants. Oh, yes. Later that morning, Red and I got called by the circus. It was very hot in the tent, and they had run out of water. The elephants were thirsty, and they needed a bath. Elephants do need water, Rowan agreed. So what did you do? Red and I rushed to the scene. We hosed down those elephants, and those elephants were so happy, they hosed us back. We hosed until the water ran out. Then we returned to the station to refill Red's tanks. And good thing we did, because a big blaze broke out in the library that very afternoon. Good thing, Rowan echoed. So what did you do? Red and I rushed to the scene. We raced up and down steep hills, lights flashing, siren wailing. Fog rolled in, thick as a milkshake, but Red saw right through it. Cars crawled along, slow as snails, but Red raced right past them. Those old roads were bumpy, but Red's ride was smooth. Now Rowan could hear Red's siren. He could see Red's lights, the fog, the traffic. He helped oil Red's wheels. Smooth. The library was smoking when we got there, Papa continued. Heat peeled the paint right off of Red's nose. But that didn't stop us. We doused that fire and saved the books. Most of them, at least. We sure did, yelled Rowan. And then he took a good, long look at Red. Even with shiny, fresh paint, Wheels that spin, a hose that sprays, and a ladder that reaches all the way up. Red would never be new. But we could be a great team, Rowan thought. And they were. There's Nothing to Do by Dev Petty I don't know what to do today. You can't think of anything? I can think of lots of things, but I don't want to do any of them. Want to go for a swim? Too wet. Play? With what? What's Pig doing? Probably something boring. Then clean your room. I just did. I'll go see if my friends have any better ideas. Rabbit, what should we do today? Hop around in circles and then stare off into space like this. This is even less fun than it looks. Cat, there's just nothing to do. Well, then you should look between your toes for a while. Ew. If you know a better way to clean between your toes, I'd like to hear about it. Owl, I don't know what to do. Do you have any ideas? Sure. First, find a nice spot. And sleep until it's dark. And wake up. And that's it. Who wants to spend the whole day sleeping? I do. Good night. Pig, I can't find anything to do. Have you tried sniffing around in the dirt? Why would I do that? If you have to ask, I can't explain it to you. I know. Let's take a look at my trusty list. Pig's fantastic list of things to do when he doesn't know what to do. 
continued. Number one, build model of Eiffel Tower. Number two, hum for three hours without stopping once. Number three, stare at the wall. Number four, try not to think about squirrels. Number five, wake owl. Number six, spin around until dizzy. Pig, I'm not sure this list qualifies as fantastic. What's the matter? The day is almost over and I didn't do anything. Why do you have to do anything? Just be. Watch clouds go by. Think about stuff. Then put do nothing on your to-do list and check it off. Sometimes the best ideas come when you stop looking for them. Really? Let's try it. Take a deep breath, empty your mind, oh it's empty, be one with the universe, one with the universe, check, now wait, waiting, I've got it, I have a great idea, wonderful, glad I could help. Sit with me for a minute. So, what did you do all day? Nothing. And you know what? It was great. I came up with the best idea of what to do tomorrow. You have school tomorrow. Oh, I can't go to school. I've got nothing to do.